These are the coca beans. The beans and pulp go to the fermentation area, where workers lay them in boxes or heaps and cover them for four to six days. As heat under the cover builds up, fermentation kicks in. The natural sugars interact with oxygen. The pulp slowly breaks down, liquefies, and drains away. The color and chemical composition of the beans change, and they become less acidic and develop a chocolatey taste. The next step is to dry the beans. Workers spread them out on big trays and lay them out in the sun for about a week. Here's what a cocoa bean is like wet. Versus dried. The dried beans now go through a selection process. Workers examine them, removing pod remnants and any beans with mold or other imperfections. Beans which fail inspection are sold locally at a lower price or go to the compost heap. Beans that pass are weighed, bagged for export, and sold to chocolate makers.